Hey everybody, alternate beginning and alternate ending. This is the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. Backwards today, the sun has set. It is dark and I want to show you what I am going to do today before we rewind in time and go do it. But now I'll show you here. It's here. And I'll show you how I got it here and why and actually the why I'm not going to tell you on this video. Um, I'm just going to show you the process. And then we got it here. Well, me. I like to say we because I'm married. And I'm used to saying we, but I was alone this time. I did this all on my own. And I got it here. And I got it parked for now. And I didn't get much else done. Because I ran into town and got some grease to lube everything up on this old beast the, tomorrow morning so I can start running it and using it. Anyway, I hope you do enjoy this video. Let's see what I did today. Well, I'm moving the mill two days later. I got the jack here. That's the one I used on the tractor. And I'm bringing a truck up. By the way, I don't have a plate. Somebody noticed that. I uh, got stopped by the police today. And no big deal. Uh, I have an appointment to get a plate. Michigan Secretary of State, the license plate registration was closed most of the year. I had an appointment earlier in the year and they canceled it, so I had to get a new appointment. And uh, I'll get it done. So anyway, no big deal. I just wanted to share that with you. I, I will have a plate soon. I'm not violating any laws, really, because it was the governor said there's nothing to do about it because it was her order to close the Secretary of State. That is your DMV for New Yorkers. I don't know what you call it in the other states. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, I did not bring the tripod. I don't know why exactly. Uh, I'm just sort of trying to get this done. So I'm on my own totally. Um, the old man took his mill home. This isn't jacking straight. It's leaning. I'm going to have to go on the other side. It's totally leaning. So he took his home. And uh, I'm gonna bring mine home. We were gonna start to start to work out here, but for now, just everybody's gotta be safe. Gotta protect your stuff. Sorry about if there's any shakiness. I uh, I just didn't bring my tripod. I was in a hurry. It's snowing and cold and I just want to get this done why are you not jacking up straight oh it's heavy I'm gonna put the camera down I think you can trust that I'm gonna be just turning a screw for now be right back the hardest part is gonna to be to line this up alone I'm gonna try my best let's see what we can do the truck will be able to flex a little bit by wrenching on it with myself so, I'm going to back up a little and see if I can pin that, put that pin in. Sure enough, I was able to wiggle the truck enough to get that on there. So now, oh, take this out. Now there, take off the jack. Now the hardest part for me of all is going to be to back around that corner. And I'm all alone out here, so I'm uh, going to have to take it slow and easy around that pile of junk. Oh boy. Well, let's see what happens. Now, even if I had the tripod, I won't be showing you that. It makes me nervous and then I'll mess up. I usually, if I have the camera on doing something tricky like that, Harry turns, and I could mess up. And uh, I've learned myself, I don't put myself in a situation where I'm stressed about what I'm doing. And I do all right, usually. And if I make a mistake, I'll show you. I'm going to need that at home. That's a really nice tool. I'm looking for one like that. I love it. No, I'm not telling somebody to send me one, but I'm looking around. I love it. All right. I got to put the camera down and see what I can do here. Oh, boy. Well, I went into my bumper a little. No harm done. That's why I like an old truck. I had to tie the axles on. Because when I went to go backwards, I forgot, and they uh, 
slipped out of place, but I think it's good now. Yeah, a lot of tension on it now. Beautiful tires. I'm gonna drive with that. It's the only choice I got right now. They should hold up. I'm only gonna do five or ten miles an hour. That's gonna be a long trip home. But at least there I've got alarms. Well, I'm not driving five or ten miles an hour. If I can keep it on the zero, you can see I'm shaking. If I can keep it on the zero, whatever that speed is, I think my speedometer is off by a couple points but on the uh, below zero. I'm only going maybe one or two. But, uh, can you see? Oh, that didn't work out. I was going to show you my view of the mirror. That's funny. That didn't work. There we go. There we have a shaky situation. The tire is um, bad, as you can see, and it jerks everything when it comes around eat once each revolution. So slow we go. Very, 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 very slow. I think I've been a half hour so far, and I've still got two miles left to go. A little bit of a drive. Well. The tire isn't pretty anymore, but we're making it. Oh, I got a vehicle coming. Oh, they're going to turn, I think. I got to swing in. I'm coming up to the our road here. This is, I hope this goes all right. Let's see if I can make this turn. See how it goes. The tire made it. Two and a half miles, I guess it was. Two and a half or three miles, I'm not sure. Really, really, really slow trip. But here we are. Well, I'm home. I made it. I want it, I'd like to get it in this way more uh, and straightened up. I could probably maneuver it with the tractor later. I think I'm gonna drop it where it is and then I can try to swing it with a tractor because it's uh, probably got a better turning radius than this longer truck. But here it is. Yeah, I, I just really just want to straighten it out. And I'd like to tuck it in a little bit closer back here. But I have to remember that I have to have room to bring the tractor in and hook it up. So that's a necessity. The tire wouldn't have made it another two miles though. I don't know if it would have made it another mile. Boy, there was only two lug nuts. I didn't see that, but I only drove, what, maybe three miles an hour. <laughs> ah, here we are. So I'm going to have to get a different axle for this or get different rims and tires. Because um, that's not very good for moving around in the future. But easy enough. Undo the straps, jack it up, slip an axle in or out, and be done with it. Well, I'm going to park the truck and go in and have a coffee break, and then I'm going to come out and work on this a little bit, and lube it up and get it ready for work, and then get some alarms out here for safety. So, yeah, coffee break time. Well, I'm going to go and pull that off. I've had a bit of a warm-up coffee, and I'm going to take this off the truck for now, and then I'm going to start lubing it up make sure everything's gonna be okay I gotta grease all the joints and lube everything up and make sure it'll be fine for use if all goes well maybe I'll be running it tomorrow we'll see how it goes here and uh, yeah so I gotta get that off and get this going I also might have to run in I don't know if I'm gonna need fluids or grease I've got to check my grease gun make sure I don't need anything to uh, to grease this up all the grease certs I'm probably gonna run in real quick and grab some uh, grease tubes but I gotta see what I need with uh, I've got an old grease gun I've got to dig it out and see what kind of tubes it takes well guys the day is done got the mill here tomorrow I'm gonna lube it up and I'm going to grease all the fittings and lube up the rails and everything. And I might just get this running tomorrow. Let's see how it goes. Now, if you'd like to know why I brought this here, check out DIY Tube. I'll put the 
um, other video over there about the why. But if not, uh, just enjoy this video, and I hope you did. I'm certainly incredibly excited. This is awesome. I can't wait to get it running. So, self-sufficiency guys, we are getting there. This is Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and the Off-Grid Project. Please like, subscribe, and share, and follow our daily videos as we strive to become fully self-sufficient and off the grid on a budget. Talk to you later.